one room, two rooms, three rooms, and now we're gonna go into the fourth room, all separate areas for the client. Of course, we've got our dust walls up, partitions, so they have some privacy, and of course, no dust. Project. We're in the trim stage. Well, that's an attic. What you doing on the phone there, man? Caught you. Oh, Chad, just do it. Now I'm hearing some, some noise. And the pain that you're feeling gradually fades away. Cause I'm growing up, falling in love. Giving your all might not be enough. Just trust your head and your heart. That's what my mama said. I wish I could freeze this moment. What I'd like to see y'all do is bring some blocks and set this fan and lay it down. Bring some, get some air up in there. Slow it right under, right into that hole. Okay. So up there, you get some blocks over here. You all stack them up several high. You know, maybe three, three spots on that, and then lay it down and see if it sucks some air up in there. For okay. So you can angle them a little bit. All right. Put them here. You get it. Blow that yeah. cold air up there. Let's try that with just two to see what that looks like. trying to get guys to think about how they can make things better for themselves and, and at the same time perform better. You're going to be able to do more if you feel better. But uh, we're, we're, all, we're all for thinking outside the box, and especially when it comes to safety of, of the team. Team safety and feeling good and being motivated and energized helps everybody. So we're, we put the primer coat on the walls. This is not the finished paint. And we'll be trimming out floors are going in, tile and LVP are going in everywhere and that's going to all be uh, trimmed out here soon. You see some of the trims laying around and we've got trims outside and when they're done with it, when it gets too hot in the attic, they're going to come down and start trimming out. We've got some doors to install, pocket doors to install and then very shortly we'll be seeing the finished product as well as the finished paint. But we've got Why? the nice little storage room. We've got. Why is there a cupboard? Just that's what they want. They just want a little area to store things or to put a alarm system or safe or whatever they want up there. And as you can hear right now, they are taking off some of the decking that is in the attic because we're getting a thicker insulation in there. We're going to put a stronger plywood up there for storage. This is a very large storage up there. One room, two rooms, three rooms, and now we're going to go into the fourth room. All separate areas for the client. Of course, we've got our dust walls up, partitions, so they have some privacy, and of course, no dust. 
And we've got all this already LVP floored, so we've got it protected so that there is no damage to it. Because even though it's a very durable floor, you do not want to have hard construction tools on it. You know, you could put little scratches in it if you pulled a ladder or if you yeah. dropped a tool on it. It's not meant for that, obviously. But for the everyday use, it's perfect. So they kind of like a lot of lights and they kind of like a lot of switches, as you can see here. Everywhere we've got switches, plugs, outlets for everything. So this is like the most we put in a home. And because they have every, they know exactly what they're going to use, use for everything. It. And right here, we're waiting on CPS. We're going to relocate a gas line, so that gas that gas meter is being upgraded. So we've held off on this little part while we're waiting. That's supposed to happen any day now. But we're not quite there. We're not quite finished, but we are real close. And then you're going to see the next one is a big transformation. We just got primer on the walls, but now we're, now we're going to have trim, and then we'll expose the, the beautiful floors. Yeah.